demonstration of the CTI Cryogenics 9600 compressor. It is suitable for both an onboard and a remote cold test. Let's take a look around the back. First, I'd like to show you the different connections. Here's where we have our cryogenic lines. We have, of course, our supply gas and our return gas. Here is our operating pressure. Now, as you notice, this gauge has a red bar here and a red bar here. Normal operation is within the red bars. Uh, as you can see, we're going from about 110 to 125, which is normal operation. Uh, this is where the helium, in this case we're using helium, would be filled, and this is a valve that opens and closes it. Be very careful if that is left closed. Below we have our cooling lines, both cooling water in and cooling water out. Uh, the unit requires uh, approximately three gallons per minute of water. In addition, we have an hour meter here. This is the central three-phase uh, circuit breaker along with our control breaker. Now, once you throw this breaker, the unit will automatically come on. Over here, we have two electrical connections. Now, this one here is important. This is just simply an interlock bypass. So, instead of uh, running the compressor remotely, as long as you have this in place, you run from the front panel here. This, in turn, is your electrical connection to your actual cryo, uh, your cold head. So now we'll go take a look at that part of this. To test the 9600 compressor, we're using a uh, CryoTor number eight cold head right here. Uh, right now we have been able to pump this down on its own to minus eight. Sometimes this will bounce back and forth as it cycles through. And our ultimate goal was to get down to 10 Kelvin. Uh, we have achieved 10 Kelvin, which is actually minus 263 degrees Celsius and minus 441 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, again, we have a good steady vacuum between almost 1 to 1 from minus 7 to minus 8 and an operating rating pressure of 110 to 125. So the compressor itself is well within spec. For its size, it's very powerful and can control multiple cold heads uh, if your application requires it. And this completes this demonstration.